Well, hello. Uh, this morning I have a job that I am getting back to. I started this uh, yesterday or the day, day before yesterday and then uh, got stumped. Uh, I am just trying to replace my front brakes and rotors here on my Ram ProMaster City. And normally when you replace brakes and rotors, it's, it's a pretty easy job. Um, you just need a few basic hand tools, uh, ratchets and sockets usually. Um, this van requires uh, a special hex socket, uh, so I, I had that already. Um, it's helpful to have a screwdriver just for prying things once in a while. You need a C-clamp. Um, so basic stuff. This is nothing nothing really complicated except uh, on this van there is a socket that I needed that I unfortunately didn't do my due diligence uh, I did figure it out once I got into the job a uh, buddy of mine took me to go buy some sockets and thought I needed a e-socket and so I went to O'Reilly Auto Parts bought a set of e-sockets which my research told me I needed so for some reason that socket set that I bought at O'Reilly's was labeled as an E16 socket, but it wasn't a proper E16 socket. I'm not really sure why it was different than a real E16 socket, which I have here in my hand, uh, but it did not have that shape and size. Um, the inside of it was somewhat similar, but it had little splines instead of uh, being shaped like the bolt that I'm trying to get off here on the van. So that ended my job there that day. And so yesterday I went to Harbor Freight and bought a set of e-sockets that are the correct, correctly made e-sockets maybe. Um, and so now that I have the right tool, uh, I uh, should be able to get this job done. Uh, I had to buy a set because it was the only uh, way to buy them there at Harbor Freight. They didn't sell just the one socket, so oh well. Uh, but it being Harbor Freight, it was only $10 for the whole set, so not a big deal. Uh, maybe these will come in handy at some other point in time, but uh, I need this one, so if this socket cost me $10 for the set, that's okay by me because getting this job done at a shop uh, would be several hundred dollars. So uh, I don't mind spending a few dollars on tools I'm going to need in the future anyway. So uh, after I finish my coffee, I'm going to go and attempt to finish this job because now I should have everything I need. Well, I am all done. Not too many issues. Uh, I am quite filthy, so I'm going to wash my hands. And then uh, I just have a couple thoughts I would like to pass on, if you would allow me. So let me get washed up here, and we will talk about a couple of things. I'm sure glad I have a sink and soap and water in my van at times like this. Okay, I'm all cleaned up. Well, mostly cleaned up. Uh, so I just wanted to say a big thank you to David, who is a master mechanic, and he dropped uh, some information very soon after I posted the last video where I started this job and just verified that I did need an eTorx socket to complete this job. And that was really helpful. So thank you, David. Hopefully you see this. When he told me that in the comment, I realized that it's probably an issue with the, the sockets themselves from O'Reilly's. So that's when I went to uh, Harbor Freight. And the good thing was the sockets, the wrong sockets were at O'Reilly's were $30. The correct sockets at Harbor Freight were $10. So uh, I did have to do a little running around, but not a big deal uh, to save $20. Uh, so uh, thank you to David. I did pin his comment to the top of the comment section, but apparently people don't look at pinned comments, so lots of suggestions, uh, but David was the first one that uh, helped me out. I think that was his name. I hope I'm saying the correct name now. Anyway, um, 
Uh, I did get a bunch of questions about uh, why I changed the rotors and apparently it's not showing up on the video very well but uh, the rotors are were really highly uh, scored and damaged. Uh, sand and rock damage I think just because I've lived in the desert for most of the time that I've had the van. There were other options. Uh, you can get the rotors turned and I did look into that. There was a company about three hours away from me that would have done it. They wanted the rotors for two to four days so I would have had to leave the van somewhere parked and on up on jack stands for two to four days while I waited for them to get the rotors done. So that that's not a very good option for me so that's why I didn't do that option. Um, the other option is I could have just put new brake pads on the old rotors and that's something I've done in the past uh, and I've learned that it's something that I don't like to do because it does wear down the uh, brake pads uh, and reduce their life. So with as badly scored as my rotors, my old rotors were, uh, it probably would have taken a year's worth of life off of the new pads. So it's not really something I want to do. Um, like I said, I've done it in the past and I almost did it this time, but I kind of make decisions based on the fact that the van is my home and I want, it, I want to do everything correctly uh, if I can. Uh, so it was a big hit uh, money-wise to buy new rotors as well as new uh, pads, but I found a really good deal from Rock Auto, and so I, I bought a whole kit uh, from Rock Auto for less than I could have bought one rotor from the dealer. You know, technically I didn't have to do this the correct way. I could have done it uh, a cheap way and and it probably would have been okay but I really like this van uh, despite what some people seem to think that I'm thinking in my head uh, I really like this van and I want this van to last for as long as possible so if I can do something the correct way I'm gonna do it that's why I chose to just replace the parts uh, completely and those parts I got from Rock Auto were probably the best parts I've bought from an auto parts store that weren't uh, original manufacturer parts. I mean, they're, they're really good quality parts. So we'll see how long the brake pads last, but they seem like they're really good quality. There were some people telling me that I should just take it to a mechanic and, you know, this job would have been probably between $600 to $900 uh, at a regular mechanic shop. Uh, at the dealer, you know, you're probably looking more at like $1,800 for this job. Uh, this is obviously a job that I can do, and this is why I'm making these videos. Uh, I wanted the first video to show that like, hey, this is really easy. You can do this and be done with it with minimal hand tools. Uh, but it didn't quite work out that way. And the, the fact of the matter is professional mechanic in a shop has these things happen too, uh, where they start a job and they either don't have a, the right tool or they, the parts that they have are not right and so they have to send those back and get the correct parts. Uh, but we don't know this because this happens, you know, in the mechanics bay and we have no idea. So this is something that happens all the time. So if you're working on your vehicle yourself, you just have to expect that this is gonna happen from time to time. It took me about two hours and it only took me that long because I, I did damage the head on one of those bolts because I was using the wrong tool from O'Reilly's. So there was just a slight bit of damage that slowed me down a little bit. Not enough to worry about, it just was just slowed me down a little bit. So I got through that and it's all done and it's not a big deal. Um, another thing I just want to point out was this is not a how-to video. I don't show the whole process. Uh, there were several little things that I replaced, some bushings and things that I replaced, uh, and those are all going to be different depending on the vehicle that you have and the, the parts that you have. So everything's going to be different. So I didn't show everything because this is, this is just a day in my life. This is not a how-to video. So uh, I had several people kind of get after me about things that I needed to do. There was a bunch of mansplaining done, which I always think is funny because I always want to type back, you know, you're mansplaining to a man. I don't 
really understand why, why you're doing that, but uh, I guess that's just what happens these days. But anyway, um, this was a pretty easy job. And again, I have basically no mechanical uh, prowess whatsoever. So if I can do this, you can do this. And this was maybe slightly more difficult just because it required two different sockets that uh, maybe not everybody's gonna have. And that's it. I hope this shows you that you can get into your vehicle, you can do this kind of work and save yourself several hundred dollars uh, and in my case that's several hundred dollars that I don't have to begin with so uh, it's not like I have a choice about this and yeah, hopefully that makes sense this saved me quite a bit of money it did take my time but I have a little bit of time this week to be able to do this so uh, just think about it you know don't don't just take your vehicle to a mechanic straight away look into it do a little research and figure out you know can you do this yourself a lot of times you really can that's all i wanted to say uh so uh thanks for watching i really appreciate it